Erasmus told the court that one of his duties was to meet with informers and gave details on how detainees were tortured during the apartheid years, using several methods to break their spirit, including assault, personal attacks, as well as sleep deprivation. And we called this, we would phone and we'd say this is illegal, tonight we're going to kill so-and-so or whatever. And this put enormous pressure on our opponents, these white activists. They started forming little groups to defend each other. They would operate in a system where if one was attacked, they'd phone the others and try and warn them. Erasmus is currently giving his testimony at the inquiry into the death of anti-apartheid activist Dr. Neil Agat. He gave testimony on how he had broken into Agat's home on the orders of Chief Police Interrogator Stephen Whitehead, who was alleged to have been behind Agat's death. He also gave details on his involvement in Stratcom, the apartheid government's propaganda machine against its perceived enemies. The Stratcom was divided very loosely into two components. Soft Stratcom was propaganda and non-physical actions. Hard Stratcom included anything that ranged from murder, sabotage, uh, poisoning, you could name it my lord, anything that uh, was a physical action. The inquest continues. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Johannesburg.